Hey y'all, my name is Gray Madden from Self Reliance Publishing, and this video is going to be a review of the book that I just put out called An Old Time Guide to Backyard Homesteading. Now, this book is near and dear to my heart because I was born in the city, grew up in the city, and unfortunately, I still live in the city. And I've always said that at some point in time, I would get out into the country, and hopefully, I will at some point. But today, I'm still here in the city and I have to be okay with that. And part of me being okay with that is being as self-reliant as possible with where I'm at. And I do that in a large part through backyard homesteading. And I'm sure I'm not the only person in that boat. Uh, in fact, I know that backyard homesteading is a trend that's been growing and it's gained a lot of momentum in recent years. Uh, due to a couple of different things, people are trying to uh, go after a more local food source and you've got people, uh, the prepper movement is also growing and both of those are helping fuel the backyard homesteading movement. And uh, that's, that's great, but backyard homesteading is not really a new concept. It might be uh, gaining in popularity today, but it's been around for a long time. For People have been practicing backyard homesteading for decades and centuries even, both here in the United States and abroad. And people would use backyard homesteading to get through the Great Depression in the 30s. I've heard stories about people raising rabbits on their back porches to provide meat for their families, as well as raising chickens and gardens on small plots of land in the city. That's how, uh, partially how my grandparents and my great grandparents got through it. And that backyard homesteading carried on into the early 40s as well with victory gardens and the like. Uh, people were trying to produce as much food for themselves as they could to allow more food to go to the war effort. So it's certainly not a new concept and I don't believe in reinventing the wheel. And we can, there's a lot that we can learn from the people that came before us. Yes, to a certain extent, we have a better knowledge and better understanding of the way things work, but there's certainly some things that we can learn from our parents and our grandparents. And really, that's what this book is all about. I'm helping preserve material that was published in the early 1900s and mid-1900s. It's a knowledge that my grandparents and my great-grandparents had, and I wanna make sure that knowledge is still around for people my generation as well as my kids and grandkids' generation. Hopefully, this book and this series, the Old Time Guide 2 series, will help accomplish that. But this book is specifically about backyard home setting, and its focus, primary focus is on food production in the city. We've got a couple of chapters on food production. There's the city garden, which is about gardening in the city. We've got backyard poultry uh, and squab raising, rabbit raising, uh, raising ducks. And so we've got uh, chapters on several different meat sources, egg sources, gardening for vegetables and whatnot. And we also have a chapter in there about raising bees for producing honey, which honey is a great sort of substitute for sugar. It's a great sweetener, and it's got a lot of other uh, benefits as well if you, if you wanna look into raising bees and what you can do with the honey and the wax and all. So that's what it's primarily geared to. I also have a chapter in there about canning vegetables and meats so that you can learn how to preserve what you produce because that's important too. Uh, so that's where I'm coming from with this book. I hope that you will check it out. It's available for download for $10 on my website, selfreliancepublishing.com. I'll have a link in the description directly to that book, to that download. So be sure to check that out. I do wanna point out that if this is the first time that you've been to my channel, that I'm not just here to sell my product. This channel is an extension of my business and it's a way of helping me accomplish the mission of my business, 
which is to help equip people with the skills and knowledge necessary to be less dependent on the system. And I do that by putting out three videos a week. On Monday, we have Homesteading Monday, so I co cover a topic dealing with homesteading. Wednesday is Bushcraft Wednesday, and Friday we have Prepper Friday. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, please be sure to check that out. Uh, please be sure to check out my website, selfrelancepublishing.com. And as always, I appreciate every like, every comment, and every subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.